Hey y'all, James Roy here, and this is just a quick talk about what happened today. The Texans hyped up June 12th as the day that they were going to announce something big. Um, looking at the picture, it's pretty obvious by the silhouette that it was probably going to be about J.J. Watt, and it ended up being that. They've announced that on October 1st, they will be inducting him into the Ring of Honor. He will be the third inductee, second player, and uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting news. There's there's a little bit to be desired from this announcement, if you ask me. Don't get me wrong, I'm excited that J.J. Watt's getting into the Ring of Honor. That's cool. With the Steelers there, his brother T.J. Watt will be in town. It's going to be awesome, right? But there's a couple of things that when I predicted what was going to happen with this announcement that I kind of expected them to get at. And so one of those things was, are we going to see J.J. Watt sign a one-day contract to retire as a Texan? If we look back at the only other player right now in Texans history that has a similar situation. It's Andre Johnson. Andre Johnson retired on October 31st of 2016 and then signed a one-day contract on April 19th of 2017 with the team retiring as a Texan. J.J. Watt has been retired since last year. He announced it either like around just before his last game uh, and then finished out the season, retired. Um, it's my understanding that based on his contract, the earliest that he'd be able to officially sign a one day contract with the Texans was June. It's June 12th and we haven't gotten any word on that. Now, what, what I'll say to that is, is that personally, while I understand that some people are like, it's just a one day contract, it's whatever JJ Watts retired. It's a formality. It doesn't really matter. Right. And, and I, I get you on that, but personally, as a fan of a team, just had very few players come through. Um, I mean, early on in my time as a fan of the team, I watched other other teams have players that were legends in their own right that you know ended up leaving late in their career that came back, signed the one day. And to me personally, it's it's a pretty big deal. I, I, I can understand why it doesn't mean as much to others. But if you ask me, priority one for the Texans should be getting J.J. Watt a one day contract. Now, that's to say that J.J. has to want to sign that. I can't see why he wouldn't based off how he's been with the team you know the, the video that they released of him and and his general twitter interactions with the team would dictate that that he's 100% on board with that it's just a matter of when and to to put out all this hype around the announcement of him going into the ring of honor and when they're going to do it just to like have it be a passing story that he signed a one day contract and retired with the team seems a little backwards if there was ever a time to announce it today would have been the day. Um, so I, I'm a little confused by that personally. Like I said, well, I, I understand it may not mean a whole lot to others. To me, the most important thing that hasn't happened so far is J.J. Watt signing the one-day contract. Now, the other thing that has not been announced that I feel like you know the Texans have kind of dropped the ball on in general is are we, are we retiring number 99? Because I don't think that no one's worn it since J.J. and no one should. That's J.J.'s number. The only other instance I can think of is Andre Johnson. Once again, his number's not retired, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the Texans and the, the Ravens are two of the only teams in the league that don't have retired numbers that aren't known to have purposefully not retired numbers. So teams like the Falcons and Cowboys don't retire numbers. But the Texans have not put out an official statement that says they don't do it. And you've got two players in Andre Johnson and, and J.J. Watt that 100% deserve to have their numbers retired. So why did we not get any insight on that? Why, why was that not a part of that press release? So to recap, the Texans are bringing J.J. Watt into the Ring of Honor, which I'm not going to lie, a lot of fans that I've seen just don't really seem to care about that. That's cool. Give him a red jacket and you know bring him into the Ring of Honor. If I'm ranking the order of operations or the order of precedence, if you will, of what matters the most when a legend retires from a team, especially when he left and retired with a different team, the, the highest order of precedence is the one-day contract to retire with the team. And then the next thing up is, is jersey retirement. And then it's whatever program you've decided to make as like an honorary thing for local players that's like not the Hall of Fame. It's like your personal team history Hall of Fame that some players, you know, that may or may not make the Hall of Fame will probably make, right? And speaking of, why has Arian Foster not been brought into the ring of honor i that's a whole nother topic but anyways last on my list is ring of honor it's probably the least important thing out of the three things that i can think of that a player that of jj watts magnitude that has left the league um 
should be looking into doing when they rekindle that relationship with the team. It'd be a crime for J.J. Watt to not retire as a Texan. The one-day contract is 100% something I'm still looking for, and it's probably why a lot of Texans fans are not as hype or maybe even a little frustrated with how much the Texans hyped up this day because that was, I would say, the bare minimum was the Ring of Honor, and so you don't put out a billboard and make a graphic to do the bare minimum. You you just kind of announce it. So if this was going to be a graphic level thing, the 24-hour contract should have been on the table. But overall, not a bad day. Like I said, just it felt like it was a little overhyped for what it was. Like, we get it. Cool. Ring of Honor. Give the man a one-day contract and let him retire at Texas. And then retire his number. Thanks for watching. I'm James Roy. And those were my thoughts on the announcement the Texans made today. Uh, if you'd like to follow me on social media, I have a link in my bio, but it's at M1 Texans Band on just about anything. And until next time, stay classy, Houston. <laughs>